uh, you know, part of the problem with macro and I think the, the public funds is that with all of the algos and computer programs and everything that's entered in the last 10 years, you just have so many eyeballs looking at every single asset that flashes on Bloomberg. And so I've had this view for the last 10 years that the way to make real money is to be involved in things that that people can't see, that people can't do, that people aren't aware of. And you know, or have, have difficulty doing. Like Bitcoin is extremely difficult for people to buy, even though it, fla it mostly because it flashes on the screen and they think, you know, the volatility is insane or they can't handle it. But if they were really to do the deep dive on Bitcoin, I think they'd see a whole new world open up. Uh, and if you position it correctly and size it correctly, uh, it's a it's a position. I think all institutional portfolios, including endowments, all need to have as you know the Wences. So, so, so when you go to when you go percent, yeah. So when you go to the endowment and you say, "Listen, you should buy Bitcoin," what do they do? They laugh at you. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, but but no, um, I, I think you know we have some forward thinking people, and I I think they're open to it because you know the the Wences. I was saying the Wences Casares a view, which is, you know, get off zero, that all uh, institutions should have at least 1%, um, is a very powerful argument. And, you know, I, I think if you look at a, a basket of, and I think Dan Moorhead's done this work of digital assets, uh, uh, a basket in, uh, of, uh, of, um, of companies over the last five years. Actually, this is a basket of, of cryptocurrencies that he put together. Uh, if you had had that basket or even just Bitcoin, let's say over the last five years, OK, if you'd been long Bitcoin, um, if you'd had five percent of your portfolio in Bitcoin in a 60, 40 portfolio, OK, your performance would have doubled. OK, a 60, 40 portfolio, the performance would have doubled over the last five years with a 5% allocation of Bitcoin. So if you add just two or 3% or one or 2%, you're looking at adding 20, 30 per, uh, percentage points to performance. And for an institution, that's massive. So I think the, the there's never been as much, uh, I've never seen as asymmetric a bet as exists with Bitcoin. And the risk reward for institutions um, to even dip a toe into the sector, whether it's owning Bitcoin or whether it's owning a basket of the companies that are growing up in the digital asset ecosystem. Um, some of those companies were worth zero four or five years ago. I mean, you take a look at Binance, uh, it was worth five years ago, did not exist. And today it's probably a 10, 15 billion dollar company. So you're having tremendous wealth creation going on underneath. Um, but, you know, I speak to uh, different institutional investors. And, and some of them, I mean, they've never heard of any of these companies. T to, to imagine you're talking to a guy running billions of dollars who's never heard of Coinbase. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to think that for, for us. Not that Coinbase is the be all, end all, the greatest company, whatever, but it's a large company in the space that's been around for seven or eight years, that is making a ton of money, that has good management, has uh, you know uh, hundreds of people working for them, offices all around the world, they're making money. And, and so you know, it's not like some fledgling uh, operation run out of someone's garage. And there, there are probably 50 companies in the space that are, you know, uh, are real businesses, real businesses. Uh, worth, you know, let's say over a hundred million dollars. And so as an example, you know, you think about where, you know, we're talking about where is the next thing where if the macro world is dead, as an example, you know, this world to me is in stark contrast to that. Yeah. Like, so I'm so bullish about that because I see how dead and over macro is, right? It's, it's kind of like my monsoon theory. If you've got a bunch of old indebted countries like the West, then look for countries that are the opposite, like the Middle East and countries and countries like India, right? You look for the complete opposite. Macro is a dying opportunity set. The digital world is, is unlimited upside. And it looks like a call option. So it's really interesting.